Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hey, what's up? This is a haul. Um, it's a bit of a collective haul, it's stuff that I've bought over, you could say the last month or so, maybe six weeks, give or take. Uh, yeah. So, now if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these, please subscribe. If you want to be notified when I upload, hit the notification bell. Join the fam. I'll show you some stuff. It is a try on haul, so you actually get to visually see what the things look like. Now, just so you know, I am just under five foot one, 154 centimeters. So I am short. Yes, I know. People tell me that's fine. Let's move on. Um, so, also, I've had two kids, so my body isn't, you know where I want it to be, but it's not going to stop me from filming the try on part because you know, everybody, everybody has kids. A lot of people have had kids, you know, your body changes, you work with it, can't cry about it. Or if you want to cry about it and you have money, go get plastic surgery. You know, your choice, not mine. Fine. So we're going to get straight into this haul. It's a, I've got a few beauty, mostly clothing and yeah, and mostly denim. I don't know. I was in a denim mood, so that's about it. So we're gonna start with the top I am wearing. It is from Boohoo. Let me get my list up. If you hear somebody coughing, that's my son because he's a little sick. So it is what it is. All right, so the top is called Petite Honey Slogan T-shirt and I paid $8.40, which actually, Love the length, it's the one I'm wearing. It just says honey on it. Ooh, got a bit of fluff in it. I have worn it, it's been washed, hence the, you know, stuff on it. I'll show you it like in a separate view so you can see what it looks like on, but I love the length. I like the fabric, it doesn't feel really cheap. It doesn't feel the best quality, but I mean for $8.40, I am not going to argue. So the next piece I got, yeah, this is going to be impossible to show it on. I'm not even going to try it on. Sorry. Yeah, I won't go that far. I'll just put like a picture of what it is. It's called the V front strap detail bralette and I got it in the small. I would recommend if, if you're like a size 10 or 12 around, uh, like the, your bra size, not the cup, I'm talking about the actual part that goes around you. Um, I would recommend sizing up if you are a 10 or a 12, don't go with a small, go with medium. I might be petite, but it's a little bit snug, but that's fine. So yeah, that one I paid $15.60. This one's okay, not my favorite. I mean, on me, that's just my body shape, but you know. It is what it is. It might suit one of you guys. Maybe. Maybe not. And the last thing I got from Boohoo were, were are a pair of shorts. These ones, they're not really short, which I really like. They sit nicely. They have a good stretch. They are called High Rise Distressed Board Short in light blue. And I got in a size 8. True to size, I am a size 8. They fit like a size 8. They're a size 8. So they've got a little bit of distressing on. I like the fact that they're not really short because I'm not a booty short person unless my ass was like, like up there on point, then fine. But it's not, so we go with this length. And I'm a mum. Although there are mums out there with amazing bodies. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I, I actually like the quality of them and the stretch. And I paid 27 bucks for a pair of shorts. That's pretty good. Can't argue about that. I mean, some places you can spend up to over $100 for a pair of shorts and damn, sometimes they're not that great or they don't have enough stretch because for some reason they tend to think that everybody has no curves. So that's why I like to get shorts with stretch. They hit this movement. It doesn't like make you feel awkward. So I like it. Moving on. Um, next up, I got a dress from Hello, hello, Molly. 
Hello Molly. It's by the brand Who I Am. It looks like this. I bought this for my kids' baptism. Didn't end up wearing it because I just couldn't be bothered and I was doing a lot of stuff and so I just wore dress pants. So, but I got this. It is cute. It is definitely not a color I own. So, it's quite sheer, like the top part is on the sheer side and the bottom part's a little bit thicker because it comes with loining, just like that. But it's really cute, I like the high neck, like with like cute little booties or some heels or nude heels, black heels, whatever heels, even like pointy toe shoes. Even with this like red lipstick, it kind of works. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, so I really like it. It's actually good quality. It was a, I paid $79.95 Australian dollars, which I don't think is too bad for a dress because you don't have to think about pants. It's like you chuck it on and put some heels on it and you're literally done. I mean, done. Out the door. You know. Uh, next up, I shopped on Iconic.com, which is an Australian website where you, I don't even know if you can buy online, but um, the brand is Cotton On. I bought some jeans, which are in a size 8. They're called High Skinny. And they are currently, like, I've worn them. I think they're even dirty somewhere. I've worn them multiple times. They've only got a little bit of distressing on them somewhere, like you got... Like here, here, and the length for somebody who's only five, just under five ones, actually a really good length. There's no distressing on the back, and these are currently my favorite jeans. Uh, they fit really well. I'm really skeptical buying jeans online just because I always have issues, but I, I took the risk. And, and iconic.com, the best thing about them is, is it's free returns. So you try it on, don't like it, send it back. And it's free of charge to send it back, so, and they give you back your money. No problem. So I'm really happy, really, really happy with them. I just can't gain any weight because I won't be able to wear them. But yeah, I really like them. I totally recommend them. I will leave everything down below as well so you can check it out yourself. Uh, next up from Iconic as well, I got this little bralette type of thing. Funnily enough, when I first started wearing it, I was wearing it that way, which you totally can, but then I realized the tag inside is on that side. So I've been wearing it back to front, but like you can't tell. So you can literally wear it one way or another. So um, I got it in a size small, which I'm not very big busted. Like I've got small tees, um, but I do regret not going the next size up. I still wear it. Like I don't wear it with a bra or anything because the bra doesn't even fit in there. But um, yeah, next size up, you know, I would recommend. But it's really soft, really well made. Calvin Klein, I have no complaints because this stuff's always really well made. So yeah. So that was from Iconic. Then like three weeks ago, I went to H&M. Had, wasn't looking for anything. And I found this dress, which nothing that I own. And I am so over the moon, oh, my nose is itchy. so over the moon that I have purchased this because it is cute. And I just, yeah, I just don't own anything like it. So this, my friends, is the dress. It's not really short. It's like a really good length. So, yeah. I like the fact that you got like all these buttons. So you, if you want to keep it open or I keep it closed because I can literally wear it without a bra and I don't wear it with anything, but you could put a long sleeve top on, you could put a bralette on underneath or whatever. The fabric's a little bit stretchy. It's not really thick, which I like, especially because we're going to get into summer in a couple of months. So I can wear it heaps. Um, I've, you can wear it with a belt if you wish or not to. And it's just, it just like complements the body. I love the pockets, like these big, you know, I can put my phone in there. I really like it. And it was $39.99. So I recommend the dress. Love it. Like seriously, seriously. 
So that's the only thing I got from H&M. And then I got a few, just a few beauty products. Um, I got the Ole Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Eye Cream. Because your girl doesn't want wrinkles. And I don't have... I did have a little bit of darkness under my eyes when I was uh, pumping milk constantly. Because I was so tired. So I was using this. Um, but now it's just like, just to make sure that my eyes are bright and I don't get wrinkles in the future. Because right now I have none under my eyes. Thank you, mum, for giving me good genes. Um, it's really nice. Twice a day, day and night, after I like do my toner and wash my face and everything. And I love it. Like, it's good. I recommend it. Go and just go buy it. I got it from Sephora com.au but I um you know do a Google search you could probably find it anywhere I will link it down below from the Sephora website get it anywhere um I went to Rimmel I needed a red lip liner because I bought a lipstick which is what I'm wearing um so I just got the color in red dynamite nothing I've got the color cappuccino which I use literally on the daily that's like my favorite lip liner and they're like five bucks from Priceline. Really affordable. And really good. I like they're really good lip liners, so I totally recommend it. And the last item I got is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. It's a liquid lipstick. Stunner lip paint to be exact exact and in the color uncensored. And as you can tell, that is what I'm wearing. Um, I just did this makeup look. I will post it up, if not before. Or after, I'll leave it down below. Don't worry. I have you back. Um, it's really like, used it for the first time. I only had to dip it in once. Like I pulled it out and there was so much product. So you need to be really careful. If you are a beginner, I recommend a lip liner. I also used a lip brush. Just so I had a little bit more control. Because I felt like it's a bit hard to use. Um... Like, I love the packaging, but it's just, like, I like the brush, but like I said, I feel like it absorbs a lot of product, so when you put it on, it's a lot of product, but it dries so good. I have dry lips. I have crusty dry lips. I have, I'm using, like, lip balm constantly. When I'm at work, I have my own, like, little Blistex, which is just a type of lip balm, and I'm lathering it on constantly, and I work in air conditioning, so... But um, yeah, it feels good. Like, like it's a really good formula. I'm almost tempted to check out if they have like a nude, just so I can, like this is something I won't use on the daily. But I am liking it with the glasses, with like this whole look, so. Yeah. So people, that is everything that I've purchased lately. If you like this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, join the fam, you know, come, join the family. Um, yeah, so keep a lookout for my next video and I'll see you in my next video.